morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Act of faith, O oh my God, I believe in you because you are truth itself. Act of hope, O oh my God, I hope in you because you are infinitely good. Act of charity, O oh my God, I love you with all my heart and above all things, and for your sake I love my neighbor as myself. Act of contrition, O oh my God, I am sorry with all my heart for having offended you who are so good, and with your help I will sin no more and grow in your grace. Morning offering, O oh, most sacred heart of Jesus, I offer to you all my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass all over the world, through the immortal heart of Mary, in reparation for my sins and for the sins of the world, and for the monthly, general, and missionary intentions of the Holy Father, the Pope. Amen. Act of consecration. My Queen, my Mother, I give you all myself and to show my devotion to you. I consecrate you this day, my eyes, ears, mouth, heart, myself holy and without preserve. Wherefore, O loving Mother, as I am your own, keep me and defend me as your property and your own possession. Amen. The Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For, for whom we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of nature, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, Amen. and may the source of the faithful depart through the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. We'll take him number 181. 181. to sing and I will bless your name forever. Praise God, praise God. Let his love remind us of the power of his name. Praise God, praise God. All creation sings a song of praise. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Would you please wish one another? This Mass is offered for the soul of John Carvalho. Let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we celebrate these sacred mysteries, on the feast of St. John the Brito, let us call to mind our sins.
You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who brought your martyr, blessed John Brito, to overcome the torments of his passion, grant that we who celebrate the day of his triumph may remain invincible under your protection against the snares of the enemy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win more of them. <coughs> to the Jews, I became as a Jew, <coughs> Sorry. in order to win Jews. To those under the law, I became as one under the law, though not being myself under the law, that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law, I became as one outside the law, not being outside the law of God, but under the law of Christ, that I might win those outside the law. To the weak I became weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that by all means I might save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, that I may share with them in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So, run that, you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath. But we are an imperishable, so I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air, but I discipline my body and keep it under control lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. The Word of the Lord. Our response, let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all people praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O Lord. Let all the peoples praise you. All together. Let the peoples praise you, O Lord. Let all the peoples praise you. Summon forth your might, O God, your might, O God, which you have shown for us. From your temple high in Jerusalem, kings will come to bring, bringing their tribute. Our response? Let the peoples praise you, O Lord. Let all the peoples praise you. Your kingdoms of the earth sing to God. Praise the Lord who rides on the heavens, the ancient heavens. Behold, he thunders his voice, his mighty voice. Come, acknowledge the power of God. Our response? Let the peoples praise you, O Lord. Let all the peoples praise you. 
His glory is on Israel. His might is in the skies. Awesome is God in his holy place. He is God, the God of Israel. He himself gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Our response. Let the peoples praise you, O Lord. Let all the peoples praise you. Kindly stand for the gospel. Our Saviour Christ Jesus abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, among those who went up to worship at the feast were some Greeks. These came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus, and Jesus answered them, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Now is my soul troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said, that it thundered. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, the voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of the world. Now will the ruler of the world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from this earth, will draw all people to myself. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. My dear sisters and brothers, we celebrate today the feast of St. John Brito, one of the great Jesuit saints who ministered in our country, and that is why ministered and was martyred in our country, and that is why the text is taken today from St. John, not only because they share the same name, but because of the gospel message that St. John Brito lived. I thought in the days to come, there are several saints from India. Um, in a few days from now, uh, also Saint Elias Shavara. Um, so I thought we'd take, when we have these celebrations of the saints, a little biography of their life. Because then it gives us an insight into who they were, rather than them simply becoming nameless saints, especially the saints from our country. St. John Brito took on the name of Arul Anandar. He was um, called the first, he was called the Portuguese St. Francis Xavier by many Indians. Remember, Francis Xavier came from Spain and John Brito came from Portugal. St. John Brito, like many of the saints, were born into aristocracy. And you can see how people into, born in aristocracy, in nobility, 
gave up everything to become just simple, lay, uh, uh, become religious, sometimes even lay saints. He was born in, on the 1st of March in the year 1647, and already at a very, very young age, he became a member of the royal court. His companion with whom he associated was the prince to become later on the future king of Portugal, the very famous king of Portugal, King Peter II. His father was a viceroy in the Portuguese colony of Brazil. And his father, while being the viceroy, passed away. When John Brito was extremely young, he contracted a disease and his mother thought that she, he was going to die. And as all mothers do, she made a vow. This was a very curious vow. She said, if my son survives, I will dress him up as a Jesuit for a year. And he survived. And for one year, he walked around the court of the King of Portugal, dressed up as a miniature Jesuit. But St. John Brito not only play-acted, his heart himself was with the Jesuits. Despite great pressure from the King of Portugal and the Prince, who was his companion, St. John Brito decided to enter the Jesuit novitiate. And uh, he did this in the year 1662, when he was just 15 years of age. This morning before Mass, I was looking at Darius in dressing up in red. And I said, you want to know what St. John Brito looked like? Look at him. That's how young he was. And sometimes we need a visual to understand at what age God moved the hearts of young people. And I thought to myself, I hope God is moving his heart. I'm sorry, but I secretly prayed for you. And then he wrote to his superior general in the year 1668, asking to be sent as a missionary to the East. Now, when St. John's mother came to know of this, she was very perturbed, and so she appealed to the nuncio himself to say, please dissuade my son from going to India. And this is what St. John Brito said. Not to answer the vocation as I ought would be to provoke the justice of God. As long as I live, I shall never cease striving to gain a passage to India. He was then ordained after this in the year 1673, and immediately he left, for, uh, left Lisbon for Goa in March. He arrived in Goa in September that year. Remember, at that point of time, voyages were very long and arduous. Father Di Brito, as he was, worked in the mission field of Madurai. It was here that he decided to study the caste system of India, and he realized that the Christian community, those who are already converted, belonged to the lower caste only. And he felt that if Christianity needed a future in this country, he had to also reach out to the upper caste. And so the only way he could do this, because at that time the caste system was so strong, you would not, as an upper caste man, that he would have been considered, be allowed to associate with the lower caste. And the only way he could do this was if he became a Pandaraswami or an Indian ascetic. Because at that time, a Pandaraswami was allowed to associate with both the upper class and the lower class, and that is what he did. He was one of the earliest Jesuits in India to adopt elements of Indian culture in his evangelization, what we now call inculturation. The Madurai mission that was set up was one of the boldest attempts to actually define an Indian Catholic Church using Indian terminology, Indian elements in the celebration of the liturgy. And to do, do this, St. John Brito had to learn several of the native languages. He changed his clothing, he began to dress in yellow cotton, he lived like a sannyasi, he abstained from meat, 
he abstained from alcohol. And St. John the Brito then began to teach the Catholic faith in categories that people understood. And this was done, if you watch, by all the great saints. St. Saint Patrick did the same also when he was in Ireland. This method of what we call today inculturation was already proposed and practiced by another Jesuit, Robert de Nobili. And this method met with remarkable success. And the mission of um, St. John the Brito grew tremendously. Now, 11 years later, St. John the Brito was made the superior in the Madurai province. But at this point of time, he became the object of hostility from the Brahmin community who saw him and his mission as a tremendous threat. They wanted to kill him. And then he, along with um, several other catechists in the year 1686, were taken as prisoners, they were bound in chains, and they were even threatened that they would cut off their heads. St. John the Brito's response was, start here. And that is how bold he was. But in a few months' time, they were released, and John the Brito uh, was asked to come back to Portugal. After several months, he landed there to a hero's welcome. He then toured several universities and schools talking about the mission fields of India. And by now, his companion, the prince, had become King Peter II of Portugal, who wanted John Brito not to go back to India because he wanted him to tutor his very own sons. And John Brito turned down the luxuries of the, the royal lifestyle of the royal court and came back he sailed back to Goa, returned to his mission in Madurai in the year 1690, and this time he came back with 24 new missionaries. You can imagine how he influenced people in those days to follow him to what was surely his death. St. John the Brito, because of the threat to his life, very often had to travel from one mission station to the other by night so that he could celebrate mass, he could baptize people. What really caused his martyrdom was really his success. He successfully managed to convert a prince in India, a prince called Tadaya Theva. And St. John the Brito told Prince um, Theva that you have to renounce your many wives. You can only have one. One of those wives was the niece of the king of Madurai. And she was so spurned, so angry at being spurned by her husband, that she went to her uncle and complained. St. John the Brito was taken prisoner. He was sent to the neighboring province, which was the province run by the king's own brother. He was imprisoned there, and then um, the Raja decided to uh, put St. John the Brito to death. He died in February of... Um, 1693, and I thought it was so curious that in the year of India's independence in 1947, Pope Pius XII canonized him. I do hope that listening to the lives of the saints, your heart may be touched, and that we may understand what the blood of the martyrs has done for our country, for our faith. If today we stand it's because others decided to fall for us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Be, 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our cup of joy. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and good of all this morning, church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set afire with that flame of your love through which St. John Brito became, overcame every, body, every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, St. John Prito, poured out like Christ to glorify your name and shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Oswald, our Bishop, and with all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John Brito, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus, our Lord, be with you always. And with you. Let us offer God's love with one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take you away the sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. We'll take him number 178, 178. Just to fix our eyes on Jesus, who has fought the good fight to the end. To 
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just to remind you that this evening we will have adoration at 7, followed by Mass at 7.30, today being the first Friday of the month. Have a nice day, everybody. It's it's the same same we'll take hymn number 106. 106. Rejoicing night and day as I walk the pilgrim way For the hand of God in all my life I see And the reason of my bliss is the secret of all this That the Comforter abides with me He abides, He abides Hallelujah, He abides with me I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way, for the Comforter abides with me.